Alright, welcome back. We are playing some more Wild Wings. And we are stuck in this uh, particular situ situation. Do about it.
things to remember. Number 1. Return Vitra's book. Number 2. 2367. First, second, fourth digits in the right order. Question mark. Stop leaving important notes all for everyone to see. Jokes on you, I already set off the alarm.
explosive package. You shouldn't leave your dynamite around, someone might, might get hurt. What just happened?
Shoot. Oh, I don't have much time here. Listen carefully. I've located the firing device. You, of course, need, need it to set the bombs off. It's... damn! It's on the top floor! Hurry up and destroy! Oh great, they must have caught him. You don't say. We have to hurry and find this device. They're probably going to be searching for it by now. I kind of feel a little and
the firing device be? There it is. Um, just as we get there, the bastard comes right on in. You're a little ra late, Robot. This is where your little struggle ends. You really think it would have been this simple? We have some serious goal coming in here and trying to sabotage our operations. You sort of started it by bombing us at Physigan. You pathetic bats should have just covered and covered like you always do. Now we only made things worse. Now we'll make every single colony on this planet suffer. We will remind them of their place. And as long as I'm around, I will be stopping you. The nerve of this run. You think your heroics will last? Just wait until you have to deal with two armies. I'm sorry, I have failed you. Okay, let's get that device. Shade, do this do these guys really hate us that much? They've always disliked us, but I hate to say I might have just made it all worse. What do you mean? By now it seems like almost everyone knows about what we've gone through before uh, arriving at Hibernaculum. We never come across the owls or southern cannon before all this. But what exactly have you done to cause all this? It must have been the Xenos. All three factions were in together. Although it was clear the Xenos had their own agenda. Anyway, we can talk more later. Back to what we were going to do, which is blowing stuff up. I like that the idea. Push the button! Push the button! Okay, there's one button on this thing. Kinda hard to mess up.
Hum, hum, hum. So you think you have the upper hand, Silverwing? You truly believe you can sabotage us and then fly off without a single loss? You won't be able to get out of here, you know? Why don't we meet? There. I made floor 1 available to you. Come on down through the elevator and let's have a nice chat. I'm sure Lubin here would very much appreciate it if you came. I guess we don't really have much of a choice now, do we? Yeah, too bad the front door is locked up. What? So if it wasn't, you just hightail it out of here? You're damn right I would. You seriously give a crap about it, about this guy. There's something twisted about him. He has this narcissistic, narcissistic attitude that I just can't stand. Narcissistic? Wow. Big word, Chinook. Shut up. He's filled with vanity. He's in love with himself and wants to show everyone how brave and heroic he is. He's trying to upstage you. This isn't this isn't about upstaging anyone. Whatever you say, it's not right to just leave him to those arseholes. Who knows what they'll do to him? What is this nonsense? Why is there a filthy bat by your side? Have you gone mad? Hmm? I thought you always knew about Esther. In this organization we like to practice diversity. It helps us again gain greater insight into the workings of each faction. Well said, my friend. I don't believe this. A Sino and a cannon siding with a bat. It's almost like I'm looking at a bloody circus act. There's no need to be like that. Esther's mind games have proven to be very useful. I thought you were all going by your code names. What's wrong? You're still uncomfortable with us. Have you not been allies for years? It's just unnecessary confusion along with the fact that you just now revealed to me have a bat in the show in Stowe. Can you blame us? Look, Mrs. Sia, 
I still hate bats with a fiery passion. I am sympathetic with how you feel on this matter. But as a team, we are getting ever closer to accomplishing the true goal. True goal? I don't understand. Even if that girl is useful, we must still hold on to a principle. That bastard shade demolished your race and brought the remaining to the knees. Despite all the hatred that fills my insides, I am not dumb, and neither is Silas. We'll have you know that Esther here has close ties to one of the members of Shade Silverwing's party. She is a very effective means of diversion for Shade and his group. I see. Perhaps you should take the bastard straight into all territory, if, heaven forbid, they manage to destroy this prestigious facility. Are you worried? Of course I am. Don't you see what this rodent is capable of? It's taken out, taken out all deployed soldiers in Pilvanaria, an iron saddle tank, and is currently pissing about in our base. Not to worry, we'll help you defend what remains the best we are able. What remains? Ha! Huh. Back to the true goal that I previously mentioned. Our prim primary mission is to apprehend shame. Shade and acquire his Tetsu ring. Apprehend. Our mission is to obliterate him. Patience. That comes soon after. Of course you are free to do what you wish. You're damn right. Are you even familiar with the properties of his ring? No. No. But I do know that I will pers personally wring his neck for what is done. This facility is our primary stop. Do you know that? We are conducting operations of a large scale. What should have happened was me bomb the sorry bastards in Fisigan and take it over. Simple. It is pure bad luck that beetle Jewel Shade got involved in this. This zone is vital to our progression and will throw all of our remaining machines at Shade if I have to. Do what you must. What are we going to do about this guy? You're going to let him go is what you're going to do. Mishka? That's distress to you, numbskull. Leave Lubin alone and no more cannon blood has to be spilled. Or any blood for that matter. You have some serious nerve shade, Silverwing. What a grand display you made in talk taking down my most highly trained cannon. It wasn't that big of a deal, but thanks for the compliment. Earn! Bastard! You think this is the end of the road for me? I will hang your intestines off our pipelines. Your pain is on the beginning, Shade Silverwing. I saw you take out one of our hazard wasps, but how well can you fare against three? <laughs> That's right. Let that sink in while I... What the hell is this? What is happening? What the hell did you do to my facility, you damn runt? Oh, no need to get your hands dirty, Miss Sia. I've been meaning to have a rematch with this fool anyhow. Malice? And I've been waiting to bat in the blood of these nuisances. It's time your lucky streak came to a close, Shade Silverwing. Fetters, damn it! How do you turn this damn thing off? Hmm. Esther. No, not yet. You really wish to back away from this chance, huh? It's the brown haired one, I believe. Don't think I want to harm him. I would rather just do it on my own. Mishka. As much as I'd love to grind these rodents into paste with my own hands, we can no longer underestimate their strength. It is clear with how far they've gone that they have continued to develop their power. And I am all for using every resource at our disposal. You say you want to kill the little chirps? 
Feel free to have a turn. Don't disappoint me. Right. I suppose there's no point in asking nicely if you can have that pretty ring of yours. You're right. There is no point. Very well. You have plenty of time to say your prayers. Me, sweet mercy. You really weren't joking. These li little bastards are tough. I somewhat predicted this. The Silver King has plainly kept at holding his power. But even two of us can take him down. You, next time we will all be involved in the fight. You got that? Oh, so it's my fault you got careless. You hold your damn tongue, rodent. You are in no position to belittle nor talk back at back to me. Save your breaths, you know. We're done here. Despite your unacceptable attitude, Esther, I agree. We must retreat and regain our strength. We can't present ourselves to him in such a condition. Wait, him? You'll we'll see soon enough. Until we meet again. I highly suggest you don't stop training. Hey, hey, hey! Where are your coverts running off to? And what do you think you're doing, little bat? Do you really believe this is over? Yes, actually. Your facility is falling apart. And I just took out your goons. Yeah! What do you want to fight too? I say bring it. The more fights we can come across, the happier I'll be. About damn time you got your sorry asses here, you meatheads. Take the loans bats at once. They've been weakened. Perhaps now you can actually end them once and for all. Now that's just lame. What the, where did that come from? 
Just, just get healed. I feel great. What's that? Okay, guys. Let's take those goons out. Now what? Don't worry, little Silverwing. I'll be up front. You won this battle as unreal as it sounds. You're not stupid. I know when to throw in the towel. But I'm not going to let you salvage our hard work. I have matters to attend to elsewhere. You should hope for your own sake we don't meet again. Shade, wait! Martha? The place is going to blow. Couldn't you tell? We can't just chase after her. Why not? Shade, didn't you want to rescue Lubin? Damn it. I kinda lost track of my priorities there. Lubin! Lubin, can you hear me? <gasps> yeah. Yeah, I can hear you, Shade. Hey, you're wounded. Well, now this is going to be more difficult. No, it doesn't have to be. Shade, everyone, we don't have much time. This whole thing, it was my attempt at pursuit for fame. What? That's all we have time for. I'm not a good person. Not even a decent one. You must leave me behind and save yourselves. Let me at least die a martyr. And now we're definitely not leaving you behind. Don't be stupid. I'm not worth saving. Don't dine here with me. You're far, you're far more important than I will ever be. See you no more. It seems like everyone's evacuated. Hey, Shade, whenever you're ready, Lubin is prepared to speak with you. How is he doing? He's uh, pretty badly injured, but he can still talk, don't worry. It seems like almost everyone's getting out. Yeah, I noticed, but I don't really blame them. That was a very rough experience for everybody. Look, we all really appreciate you fighting with us. Only you, your friends and Lubin were able to break into the base. Not to be a downer, but I didn't think you guys would actually make it out alive, let alone destroying their facility. But yeah, thank you, seriously. We could have lost a whole more, a lot more people. But you won't forget who gave their lives here tonight. It's the most I could do. Well, you did a hell of a lot. Anyway, whenever you're ready, like I said. Right, thanks Lester. I think that's a good place to save. 